Okay, everybody, this lesson is compare and order decimals. Let's go ahead and get started here. So there's our common core strand, and how can we can, uh, use place value to compare and order decimals? So we're going to do place value charts on this one. So here we go. Scott, Bob, John, and Julie work together to complete a science experiment. The table at the right shows the amount of liquid left in each of the beakers of their beakers at the end of the experiment. Okay, so we're going to compare these numbers here. So how does the level of Bob's beaker right here, 2.495, compare to the level of Scott's, 2.488? Okay, so one way is just to use place value. So line up the decimal points starting at the left and compare the digits in each place position, place value position, until the digits are different. Okay, so here we compared the ones right here. The twos are the same right here. So two equals two. All right, so let's compare the next digit to the right. So we'll compare the tenths. Okay, so here's the decimal. So this is the tenths. Well, these are the same also. Four equals four right there. So let's compare the hundredths right here. Okay, so nine doesn't equal eight. Okay, so nine is greater than eight. So let's slide that up right there. Since 9 is greater than 8, then 2.495 is greater than 2.488. Or 2.488 is less than 2.495. Just depends on which way you do that. Okay, so the level of Bob's beaker, Bob was the 2.495. Uh, his was higher than the level of uh, Scott's beaker, okay? All right, and when you're talking about greater than, so which way does the greater do? I've always thought, you know, if you played that game called Pac-Man, it's usually at a pizza place or something. <laughs> Um, uh, Pac-Man always eats the bigger number, so if 9's bigger than 8, then your, your inequality is going to go that way. The Pac-Man mouth is going to go that way. Okay, if your 9 is over here, then your inequality is going to go this way. Okay, so Pac-Man is always chasing the bigger number. Okay, so the mouth is open. So compare the level of Bob's and Julie's beaker. Okay, so I have it down here. Bob is 2.495. 2 Julie is 2.493. Okay, well, let's... Uh, Put them in a place value chart here okay so here we're going to do place value chart there's bob and julie right there all right and then since um uh the twos are the same the fours are the same the nines are the same we're going to go all the way to the thousands right here and since five is greater than three then 2.495 is greater than 2.493 or 2.493 is less than 2.4 i'm sorry did i say four uh, 2.495. Yeah, that's a 4 right there. I'm just a typo right there. Sorry about that. Let me change that to a 4. Okay, that's not going to change in all the other ones because. Uh, uh, so the level of Bob's beaker is um, uh, Bob was uh, uh, the 95, so he's going to be higher also than Julie's beaker. Let me change that back to a 495. Okay, oh, I don't want to get too crazy. All right, well, you know what I mean there. Being a little rough with me. Okay, so let's keep going here. So order uh, order decimals, we can use place value to order the decimals uh, of numbers here. So we can put them in, in order from least to greatest. So here's an example. 2.745, 2.729, 2.731. Uh, so line up the decimal points here. All right, and there are this, uh, they have the same number of ones right here. The twos are in our ones position. And since they're all the same, we got to go to the next one. So uh, let's look at the tenths right here, and it says to underline the tenths and compare those. Okay, well, those are the same uh, also. They have the same tenths, so uh, let's underline the hundredths and compare those. Okay, so if we look at those hundredths right there, those aren't the same. All right, so order these from least to greatest. Well, uh, since um, uh, 2 is the smallest, is less than 3 is the middle one, and is less than 4. Okay, so 2 is less than 3 is less than 4. Uh, then that means uh, this one right here, 2.729, is going to be less than 2.731, which is going to be less than the 2.745 up on top right there, okay? All right, let's try another one here, you guys. So what is the order uh, of these decimals right here? So 1.482, 1.41. Okay, and the rest of them there. So write each number in the chart. So there they are written in the chart. And we're going to compare the digits beginning with the greatest place value. Okay. So they have the same ones again, you guys. So if we could compare the ones, they're the same. So compare the tens. 
Okay, this is the biggest 10 right here. Well, since this is the biggest 10, that means this is the biggest number right here, 1.542. Okay, so I'm going to put a line through that because we're going to write them in order from least to greatest. So I'm done with that number. We don't have to focus on it anymore. So I crossed it out and I put a little first. It's in. It's the biggest number right there. All right, now let's compare the hundreds, you guys. So when we compare the hundreds out of these three numbers here, 8 is the largest number, so the next biggest number is this one, 1 1.482. Okay, so I put, I cross that out so we don't have to look at it anymore, and I put a little second right next to it right there. It's the second largest number right there. All right, so now let's look at the rest of the hundreds right here, okay? And 3 is greater than 1, so the next largest number is 1.43. Okay, so that's the third one, so that means uh, this one is the smallest number right here. So when we put those guys in order, um, the 1.41 is the smallest, the 1.43 is the next smallest, and then 1.482, and then 1.542. All right, you guys, take care.